The new live-action adaptation of the hit series, The Winx Club, has now been released by Netflix, premiering in early 2021. The show has been incredible, but there are so many unanswered questions that fans have, including new viewers who may have missed a couple of episodes and want to catch up before Season 2 is released. With only six episodes under its belt, Fate, The Winx Saga is still in its infancy, but there is a lot of ground to cover, so let's jump right into it. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Even though Fate is loosely based on the Winx Club from the early 2000s, the show has made some serious changes from the original series. The show takes place in Otherworld, which is a dimension that exists in a parallel universe to Earth. The fairies are able to use magical powers to interact with our world much like the original series. The plot tells the story of Bloom and her friends who are studying to become the best fairies they can be while defending Alfia, a town that will soon find any way it can to bring the fairies to its knees. For the most part, Season 1 focuses on Bloom and her backstory. We learn a little about her friends, but it seems like most of that will be saved for future seasons. We're also told that fairies are able to manipulate six types of energy – water, air, fire, light, earth, and mind. Most of all, we learn about Alfia, the town the girls live in. Alfia has a complicated history that saw itself being forced into all sorts of terrible situations during a war. Even though those days are gone, Alfia continues to lie on the brink of destruction and the fairies must do everything they can to keep the town and its inhabitants safe. We also find out that tons of vanquished demons have now returned to wreak havoc all over the world. While the fairies are doing their best to rid the universe of all these foes, they are forced to deal with trauma from their past, romantic relationship, and the difficulties of growing up in the modern world. Overall, Season 1 does an amazing job telling the stories of these fairies, but it leaves a lot of questions unanswered and ends with some serious cliffhangers that we need to know the answer to. It's safe to say that the first season of Fate mostly set the tone for things that will take place in future seasons. But that doesn't mean that the writers didn't cover a lot of ground in the first six episodes. One of the most important parts of the story is Bloom's search for her parents. Rather, her search to find out what happened to her real parents, not the ones who have been caring for her since she was a child. It's a complicated situation, but we'll touch more on that in a little bit. We don't know too much about her upbringing, but Bloom is always on the lookout for clues or hints that may explain why her real parents are no longer around. She eventually learns about Asterdale, a town that had been completely destroyed by Rosalind in a fit of rage. Rosalind was once the headmistress of Alfia, and she obliterated the town while attacking the Burned Ones. Later on in the season, Rosalind tricks Bloom into setting her free and even goes as far as to destroy the barrier that was keeping Alfia safe. As you might expect, this had some serious consequences when Alfia was exposed to attacks from every evil villain it had once feared. Everyone at the school ran to the courtyard and banded together to fight for Alfia in a war against the Burned Ones. Bloom learns from Rosalind that Asterdale was destroyed because all of its residents were terrible evil blood witches. Bloom is in desperate need of help, so she runs back to her friends and they face off in a battle against the Burned Ones. This is one of the most pivotal moments of the show, as Bloom quickly discovers that she is far more powerful than she could ever have imagined. She awakens an ancient power that had been boiling beneath the surface for her entire life, known as the Dragon Flame. Once her flame is reignited, she grows wings and releases a terrifying fury on the demons, and saves the school from destruction, saving the lives of countless people in the process. Rosalind is taken aback by how powerful Bloom has become, she seeks out help from Beatrix, Dane, and Riven. Bloom uses this time to head back and make amends with Farrah Dowling, the new headmistress. Once the Burned Ones are defeated, Bloom heads back to Earth to talk to her parents about her superpowers. Though, while she is gone, Rosalind takes this time to attack Dowling and regain control of the school. Silva is later arrested for attempting to take the life of Skye's father, though it turns out he's still alive. He did his best to raise Beatrix while hiding out from everyone else in Alfia. Before long, the Winx girls return to Alfia and realize what happened while they were gone. The entire town is now turned upside down. So this is obviously a lot to take in at once. 
This show has a seriously complicated plot, but it's one of the most compelling stories Netflix has come up with in a very long time. Before we get too far off track, let's get back to Bloom to better understand how she suddenly unlocked these amazing superpowers. As the season winds down to an end, Bloom learns about her mystical powers that allow her to grow wings. Before this, everyone thought that this amazing power had been lost over the years, though Bloom seems to have awakened it without even realizing it. Before Farah is killed by Rosalind, she talks about how Bloom discovered her powers and explains that the Burned Ones were created after an ancient war that ravaged the area thousands of years ago. She says that the creation of the Burned Ones links all the way back to the Dragon Flame. What's the Dragon Flame, you may ask? This was a source of unimaginable power that Bloom discovered, helping her reignite her true fairy form and bring peace back to Althea. This Dragon Flame idea was taken directly from the original cartoon series. We won't spoil too much about it because most of this will be explained in future seasons. But it seems like Bloom is in for a rude awakening in the upcoming seasons, as she soon learns that she may have been switched at birth. As we mentioned before, this is why she is constantly on the lookout for her birth parents. We don't know too much about her real parents may be, but we're hoping Bloom will unlock more secrets and explanations as the series continues. It seems like Netflix only ordered a few episodes of Fate the Wink Saga to see if it will catch on with viewers. It's safe to say, the show is incredible. We don't know what the future may hold for these fairies, but we hope Netflix will keep the show running. At the moment, Netflix has not renewed Fate for a second season. Once they do, it seems safe to assume that it will be several months before the show returns. For now, much of the history about Althea and the fairies remain unknown. If you're having some trouble while waiting for the new season of Fate, I'd definitely recommend checking out the original cartoon series, The Winx Club. While the show doesn't seem to be directly connected to the new version, it can probably answer a lot of your questions about the fairies and Althea. Netflix definitely seems to have taken a lot of creative freedom with the new series, but they're doing a great job keeping the plot true to its original form. So when will season 2 of Fate The Winx Saga be released? We don't know for sure probably sometime in 2022, if we're being realistic. But who knows, maybe Netflix will pull a rabbit out of their hat and release the show sooner. It's just too soon to say, but hopefully this video helped clear up some things that you may have been unsure of during Season 1. Thanks for watching, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell to keep up to date with all of our future videos.